guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing the highly sought after brand new Sephora birthday gift for 2023, the mini Dior perfume set. If you're interested in that, then please keep on watching. So like many Sephora fans, every single year I very much look forward to what the Sephora birthday gift is going to be every year. And I feel like every year it just keeps on getting better and better. This year in particular, I feel like they have more choices than ever. From the Way hair care set, Way Y, I'm not 100% sure on how to say that, sorry. The Glow Recipe skincare set, the Pharmacy skincare set for VIB and Rouge Sephora members, and Ilia makeup gift set and of course, the Dior fragrance gift set. It was definitely a hard choice for me which one I wanted to choose because you can only choose one and all of them I feel like are pretty much equally as awesome. But if you watch my channel regularly, you'll know that I am a sucker for anything Dior. So of course, the minute I saw that there was a Dior option, especially a mini cute little perfume, of course, I absolutely could not resist. And of course, with Dior being super, super popular and really on trend right now, it seems to me that that seemed to be most people's first choice as well. I have a pretty fairly early birthday, uh, February 11th, so I didn't think that stock levels would be too much of an issue with this product, but oh my goodness, was it ever a mission to get my hands on this darn thing. I had called approximately eight to 10 different Sephoras in my area and beyond, and every single time I went to a Sephora at least once or twice a week throughout the entire month of February, it wasn't in stock, it was sold out. And then even online, if you try to order it online, it says out of stock, you need to go and check the stock levels at your local stores because it's out of stock online. So it was just calling and visiting Sephora's and checking the online stock every single day of February with no luck. It was completely and totally ran out. I then started seeing online that some people were mentioning that this particular gift set is a little bit overrated actually, and it's actually one of the worst choices out of the free Sephora birthday gifts this year, as apparently according to a lot of people on TikTok, if you regularly buy cosmetics from the official Dior website, apparently you can get these as freebies all the time on Dior. Uh, so people said it's not right to waste your Sephora free birthday gift on something that you can just get for free from Dior at any time. Uh, so that gave me a little bit of hope and I thought, you know what, maybe I'll just go with another one of the free birthday gifts from Sephora and just get the mini perfumes from Dior someday. And then I just started to get excited about leaning towards my second choice, which was definitely a skincare set, either the Glow Recipe or the Pharmacy one. But such is life, as soon as you stop wanting something, you freaking get it. <laughs> so the first week of March or so after my birthday month, I was just hiking one day and happened to go to this mall in a smaller town that I had actually called the month prior and they were out of stock. But since we were in the area and they had a Sephora there, I thought, you know what? Might as well just try and see if they have it. I went in there with extremely low expectations and I pretty much just assumed to myself they're probably going to say no again, they're probably not going to have it. It's all good, it doesn't hurt to just ask, right? And to my shock and surprise, they had it! They actually had two left in stock, which was a miracle. If it's meant to be yours, it's meant to be yours, man. <laughs> At the end of the day, I truly think it doesn't really matter which gift option you choose as, as I said in the beginning, they're all equally good in their own ways. Even the Way set and the Ilya set, like I've heard really great things about all of them. So you can't go wrong with getting free mini high-end makeup and beauty products. So here she is. And with all of that being said, let's finally go ahead and open up this baby. So here is the front of the box. It just says, happy birthday, and then the same thing again in French. And then it just says, Sephora Beauty Insider. The side just has the classic Sephora polka dots. And the back just has some more information about the ingredients of each perfume. Here is the bottom. And the top. I'm just gonna remove this little sleeve now. To reveal the gorgeous Dior logo. And the rest of this box is just plain.
And inside we have these two mini perfumes. We'll start with this one. It's called Sauvage Eau de Parfum by Dior. And it just looks like this. And you can see that there is a CD at the bottom there, as well as on the top. You open it up by twisting the cap off. And there's just a hole opening for you to pour a little bit of the cologne out. Unfortunately, it's not a spray bottle. Next up, we have the Miss Dior Eau de Parfum. Here she is right here. Super, super cute and tiny. As you can see, it's like smaller than the palm of my hand. There's the CD at the top. And once again, you just unscrew the cap to reveal the product. Here is both of them side by side. And I do happen to have the full-size version of the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet perfume. So just to give you an idea of how tiny this one is. I will say even though these perfumes are tiny mini mini versions, they did a pretty good job in maintaining the same quality in the sense that the bottom still has this hound's tooth texture and the bow is still the same as the full-sized one I believe. They still have the CD on the frosted plastic. Like, it's still relatively the same. I find typically with mini versions of perfume, they tend to scrimp on the quality a lot, but it feels pretty hefty and similar to the full size one, which is really nice. Considering this was free, I actually think it was pretty amazing because I actually bought this Chloe mini perfume set many years ago. Um, I can do a more in depth unboxing and review of this for you guys if you wish but just to give you an idea quickly this costed me like probably at least 27 to 40 dollars i don't remember exactly how much but it wasn't cheap and as you can see the sizing is very 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 similar to these free dior ones i feel like i'm unintentionally becoming a super mini perfume collector <laughs> Yeah, so as you can see, the sizing is very, very comparable. And this Chloe set was not free. So yeah, guys, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If this was helpful to you, then please don't forget to give it a like. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It would truly, truly mean the absolute world to me. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!